You might think you've seen the name Polestar on the side of a car before. Well, you wouldn't be mistaken. They were the company that Volvo used to use to upgrade their vehicles to performance vehicles. But Polestar have been purchased and spun off into their own manufacturing company. They now make electric vehicles. This is the Polestar 2, their second vehicle, as the name would suggest. They are a company that now makes their own vehicles as performance electric vehicles as part of the Volvo family. Now, in my pocket, I have the keys to the Polestar 2. Would I drive it as my everyday driver? Let's find out. It's quite unthinkable that 10 years ago we could have dreamed of a car like the Polestar 2. Tesla have brought technology to the table, but Polestar also bring ecological responsibility, quality with a long history of race car DNA. You can really feel the race car DNA in the Polestar 2, not just the acceleration, but in the responsiveness, the cornering, and the braking. This vehicle has a lot of what you'd expect a Polestar to have in it. Polestar have an idea of making a car that not only creates less carbon in using it every day, but also creates less of a carbon footprint when building the vehicle. But an electric vehicle doesn't have to be lifeless and boring to drive and own. It does feel very different in the corners from a lot of other vehicles. Taking this corner at 60 miles an hour, I don't feel at all like I'm going to lose control. I started with the question, can an electric car, which has racing DNA, make a difference to how I feel about electric cars in general? The steering is light and responsive. It moves the way I want it to move, and at speeds gives me immediate power that is exhilarating. The Polestar 2 is very different. Polestar wants something what they call a circular economy. The materials and the items they make and put into their vehicles, they want to be able to transition back into the environment once they're done with being used. Polestar have designed the car to be re-engineerable so it can be disassembled and reused in our world. After it lives its life as a car, it can have a second life. Many of the materials are plant-based. Now this water bottle has a life beyond once it's finished being a vessel for my drinking water. Polestar will take something like this and make it into the car's seats. No fake leather here. This is a new design language that has been designed around low CO2 materials that are kind to the world, either recycled or naturally grown. All around design, innovation and sustainability are key principles of the Polestar 2. The Polestar 2's infotainment system is powered by Google. It actually links your Android phone or your Apple phone. It links your home and your office all together. And all you have to say is, hey Google, and you can find anything that you want or anything that Google has. Connected life is one of the most important for modern buyers. When you get into the car, voice activation is an absolute must. Most of us are already familiar with how Google works, so we are already familiar with the operating system in the Polestar 2. One of the most impressive things about the vehicle is this panoramic roof. You can imagine being in Sweden at night and driving through the darkness of the northern lights and being able to see them when you look up the dark of the Nordic light. Inside, clean, simple, sustainable, and outside is much the same. Design-wise, it looks nice, very Nordic, not just because of the gray color. It does have some Volvo-esque looks, Thor's hammer and these Matrix headlights, which of course aren't legal in the United States, but can be updated over an over-the-air update as soon as they do become legal. A very unique grille, haven't seen anything like this before, but there again, this is a brand new car company. Walking around the vehicle, it has very simple Nordic lines. Even around the back, the design is enlightening and unique. Here are the numbers. Starting price from around $59,900. Bratchy range is 233 miles on a single charge. It has 408 horsepower, 96 in the city, 88 on the highway, MPGE, and the battery takes 8 hours to charge on a 220 volt charger. 
Can an electric car have race car DNA? It can, it does, and it's ecologically sound. And a performance car. I'm Nick Miles.